glad they raised the speed limit on the major highways up to 65. I don't actually obey the limit. I was going about 68, 70 miles over it. You know, the other night I was doing a buck 10. Guy comes up behind me with his high beams on, apparently because I didn't have fire shooting out of the back of my car. How much faster can I possibly go without getting airborne? My stereo was silent because I was out running the radio waves. Yeah, how about this clown that gives you the high beams from like six miles back? How arrogant is that? It's like he's trying to say, I don't even want to see you when I get there. If it's really late at night, you're the only two out there, do what I did once. Spin out into a 180 and beam them back. That works great. It's tough to drive aggressively when your pants are filled up with shit. Yeah, the old coots are constantly veering off the road and killing innocent bystanders. I mean, these white-haired bastards are a bigger threat to us than the terrorists. I'm not afraid of Al-Qaeda. I'm worried about al -Zyma. And We're bombing Afghanistan, Iraq. Should be bombing Florida. That seems to be their major base of operations. That's where they play bingo down there. Those letters and numbers they mark down, those are actually coordinates for the next attack. It's like a secret code. B-11 means take your Buick and kill 11 fucking people with it on the way home. And I love their excuse, too. It wasn't my fault. They mistook the gas pedal for the brake. It's not like you're driving a piano. There's only two pedals down there. Pick one, Ludwig. Look, if you're driving a car and it suddenly accelerates towards some people, try the other fucking pedal. And let's try to pay attention to the screams coming from underneath the vehicle. See, I'm very careful myself. If I'm out walking or jogging and an old guy pulls up and waves me across, I'm like, I don't fucking think so. b 11s going to be B-10 this afternoon, my friend. you got to watch out for the cops, too. When I get pulled over, what I do is I switch seats with someone else in the car so it doesn't look like I was driving. I had to pull a switch the other night. I jumped in back and I chucked my two-month-old son up front. Cop's like, what's going on here? I said, I don't know. I got picked up by this drunken midget. This guy's wasted. He's rolling around, pissing all over the place. I seem to be buckled in some kind of special chair back here. So they hauled my son down to the police station. I felt bad. It was his second offense. His first offense, he got caught doing a buck ten and a fifty.